The other decision that was made last night, as mentioned, the New York Jets have hired the man they're now calling Mr. Green, 49ers defensive coordinator Robert Sala as their new head coach. That's the cover of today's New York Post. Uh, let me come back to Kimberly Martin here. Kimberly, you've covered that team. You know them well. What are you hearing about why the Jets chose Robert Sala? Greeny, it's a good day to be a Jets fan, right? Um, all the, you know, what really impressed the Jets front office was that Salah came in. He's got a presence when he walks in the room, number one. But they love his leadership ability. We saw what he did in San Francisco, taking that defense, being a player's coach. Um, those guys love him over there. Richard Sherman tweeting about it. But the Jets also love the fact that there was a good rapport between him and Joe Douglas and team president Jaime El Hai. They love that that Salah was able to present and articulate a clear plan for how to turn this franchise, push it in a new direction. Now, that doesn't mean a new direction means a new quarterback. Time will tell, but they love what they've seen. Now, that said, being a head coach is a lot different than being a defensive coordinator. You're now the CEO of a franchise. And, we, and just because he was a coveted head coaching candidate doesn't mean that's gonna translate into wins. We saw that with Todd Bowles, who was an assistant coach of the year, before he came to the Jets, and Jets fans know how that ended. So there's a lot of there's a lot of reasons for optimism, but also reasons for like let's wait a minute and let's see how this all plays out. Well, I mean, to Bart Scott, to quote a great man, I can't wait to see how it winds up going. <laughs> you know the Jets inside and out, Bart. What do you think of the move? Well, I think uh, like to Kimberly's point, it's about his presence. It's about being able to inspire. And you see him on the sidelines. He inspired this team. And he's been part of a process, right? Because he was there when this team didn't have a lot of good players. He developed them. He developed the roster. And some of those young players turned out to be perennial pro bowlers. You need somebody that's going to come in there and be able to manage the entire football team. And he's been able to do that. And then you're going to look at a young football team. I think this was also a lot about what type of staff he can put together. The fact that he can bring LaFleur over who can maybe salvage and, and, and rehabilitate Sam Darnold to that play action type of style. He's a mobile quarterback. Listen, not all quarterbacks in the league are has uh, scheme versatility. They can't play in every system. So a lot of people need their systems to be just as good as the quarterback. And if he's bringing over to Kyle Shanahan, downhill running play action type of system, I think it directly benefits Sam Darnold, his ability to push the ball down the field. We just talked about Jacksonville having a lot of money and a lot of draft equity. Well, the Jets have just as much, and I think they're farther along in the process. I think they sure up the offensive line. Sam Darnold feels fine, and I think they eventually pick up his option, and I think they're a lot closer than a lot of people believe. Not well, I got 15, former Jet. Yeah, I got 15 seconds here, but, but, but it sounds to me like you think Sam Darnold will be their quarterback next year. Is that right? I absolutely believe that because I, you got to consider what the options are. And I think that he can be saved in that type of system. We watched Baker Mayfield be saved by Skabansky. I think this is the same type of rehabilitation tour. And I think he's still young. He's still learning at the age of 23. You can't give up on talent. Yep, Shefty suggested the same last night on SportsCenter. That's obviously the first huge decision they will have to make. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.